welcome back to News to Help You Know the Place You Love to Live. I am Mayor Sue Ann Hoheimer, and this... Hi, Amy Harrington, City Manager of Normandy Park. We are glad to be with you today. Thanks for clicking on this. This is our opportunity to just give you a little snippet of what happened at our most recent City Council meeting. So this report is for April 12th, the Tuesday night meeting um, from... Uh, hopefully one of our last Zoom meetings. I'm hoping that we'll be able to meet in person again soon. But to just give you a snippet of this recent meeting, we will begin with the fact that we had a presentation given by our police chief, Dan Yurkowski, on the life-saving abilities of members of our police force. Amy, would you like to tell us a little bit more about that? I'd be glad to. We are so honored uh, to have the opportunity, we have uh, officers re reply to a variety of calls and some time before the medical professionals show up. So we are thrilled that we had three officers that use this knowledge and experience to help save the lives of some of our Normandy Park residents. We recognize Joel Lasco, Ezekiel Lee, and Officer Aaron Mass. We appreciate all they do and thank you for your service. They are great officers and we're so proud to have them part of our Normandy Park team. Next, we went on to uh, make a proclamation for Arbor Day. Um, it's part of our Tree City USA application. Uh, we decided this year as a council that we wanted to be declared a Tree City USA, um, which is an official designation. And part of that designation is that we need to show that we celebrate Arbor Day as a city. And so on Saturday, April 30th, from 10 a.m. to noon at Mar Vista Park. Yeah, it's gonna be a great festivity with lots of exciting events. And if you get there early, you might even get a tree. Thank you, Amy, for mentioning that. I almost forgot. We like to have a tree giveaway. So I think when they run out, they're out. But we'd love to see you all there. And uh, we'll give out some trees to the people who arrive first. The next item on the night's agenda was presented by the Education Committee of the Council. And um, it was their desire to begin a scholarship fund to help our high school age students in Normandy Park and offer an opportunity for anyone in that high school age group who's graduating. Uh, it can be someone getting a GED or someone who's being homeschooled, um, but we just wanted to offer extra support to um, recipients uh, who apply for this. And uh, the council did indeed vote uh, to approve of that. And so anyone who meets that criteria should Feel free to apply. This is a program that is just for this year, and uh, we're going to try to make those funds available for this current school year, uh, the graduating seniors and anyone going into college or a trade. And so we hope that people will apply for that. Amy, do you want to address what was next on our agenda? Yes, we started getting more into the Civic Center project that we've been working on for quite some time. That's right. And what was approved first was a contract for the actual demolition of what we call the former recreation building, the North Building here at City Hall Park. Okay. And also the old building located at Mar Vista Park. It used to be our City Hall, didn't it? Yes, Years it did. Ago. Yes, it did. All right. So the council approved moving forward with the demolition okay. of those buildings and also moving forward with it minimum some site restoration back to grass and irrigation. And a lot of the work has already been done in-house, but we think this will probably start coming. Those buildings will come down in May. All right. It's going to be a change around here. Uh, but the next measure applies to that as well. And that measure is that uh, the council did vote to move forward with um, having a bond measure be on a ballot through our King County elections in the month of August this year. Last night was just the first reading, so it's it's only moved now to a second reading. But um, that's just got us kind of moving right along in our efforts there. And so uh, we will be, the, the item we presented last night was uh, whether or not we should present the people, the residents of Normandy Park, with the potential to vote yes or no on uh, taking out a bond for $15 million dollars to help us build um, a brand new facility on City Hall Park 
um, that would appraise around $25 million. Um, and so uh, that measure is still being discussed, but it is definitely moving forward. That second reading will take place at our next regularly scheduled meeting, which at this point is scheduled for May 10th, um, which is a Tuesday night. So I hope you'll tune in to see um, where that measure goes. Our a final item that we'll report on now also has to do with the same thing. Amy, do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, yeah, so we started talking about what we call the pro and con committees. Uh, as you know, you get your voter pamphlet every election, which has a lot of valuable information, and there are pro and con statements to every ballot issue. And this would be no exception that we are inviting members of our residents of Normandy Park to sign up if you're interested. And if you are selected by the city council, you will be responsible for writing the pro or con statement that goes in that voter pamphlet. Thank you. And so we'd love to get, I think we have space for five more people, some for the pro committee and some for the con committee. And it's really, it's helpful to get that information into the ballot so that voters have all the information they need to make this really important decision. So, I think that kind of wraps up the main part of our meeting from last night. As I mentioned, our next regularly scheduled meeting will take place on Tuesday night, May 10th. The meetings are long, and so uh, if you don't sit and watch the whole entire thing, hopefully you tune in again like you did for this to just get a little snippet of what those meetings entail. Thank you for your interest in our city, and we really do hope that this helps you know your city just a little bit better. Until next time, we'll see you in the park. Thanks.